Hi students, welcome back to Chem or Chem. In this JE Chemistry Insight series, we have been exploring the solution for previous year JE Chemistry exam papers. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. Let's see what's today's problem. So this is the problem from JE May 2007 exam. So now you see. In which of the following ionization processes the bond order has increased and the magnetic behavior has changed? So here you see there are four options. Let's figure out together which one is the correct option for this question. So before moving to the our solution, so I would like to remind you about the trick to find the bond order. So we have already discussed about how to find the bond order by using these two diagrams. So one is for W shape diagram, another one for triangle shape diagrams. So if anyone missed that video, you can find the link in the description box. So based on this diagram, so this first diagram is only useful for a given molecule has a total number of electrons 0 to 8. So in case of this diagram is only useful for a given molecule has a total number of electrons 8 to 20. So based on their total number of electrons, we can easily find out the bond order of a given molecule. So let's moving on how to find the magnetic behavior of a given molecule. So for this, you need to know about total number of electrons in a given molecule. So first you calculate the total number of electrons. So based on total number of electrons, we can easily find out the magnetic behavior of a given molecule. For example, if it comes even number of electrons, that should be a diamagnetic compound. In case of if it comes odd number of electrons, that should be a paramagnetic compound. So there is a only one exception in this rule. So the exception is if your compound has a total number of electrons 10 or 16 or 32, that should be paramagnetic. Even though these numbers are even number, but these compounds are paramagnetic nature, contains 10 or 16 or 32 number of total electrons. Well, now we know the how to find the bond order as well as how to find the magnetic behavior of a given molecule by using simple trick. Now let's moving on our option one by one. So this is the first option, the ionization process of C2 to C2 plus. For using our trick, so we need to write it down the total number of electrons in a C2 molecule. For this, you just write it down the electronic configuration of carbon atom, so which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So if you are struggling to write it down the electronic configuration, you just Remember the atomic number of carbon atom. So atomic number of carbon atom is 6. So now you see here 2 carbon atom. So total number of electrons is 2 into 6. So total number of electron is 12. So now you see. So here total number of electron is 12. So that means that. So this diagram only useful. So this diagram is useful for a given molecule has total number of electrons 8 to 20. So now you see 12, so 12 is here. So their bond order should be 2.0. So let's moving on magnetic behavior. So this is even number. So definitely their magnetic behavior should be diamagnetic. So now moving on C2 plus, we already calculated the total number of electrons for C2 molecule, so which is 12. So here C2 plus, so we need to minus one of its electron. So now total number of electron is 11. So now you see 11 is here. So their bond order is 1.5. So this is odd number. So their magnetic behavior should be paramagnetic. So as per our question, bond order should be increased. And similarly, their magnetic behavior should be changed. So now you see this option, their bond order has decreased but their magnetic behavior has changed. So definitely this is not a correct option for this question. Let's moving on our second option. So this is the second option, the ionization process of NO2, NO+. So first write it down the 
electronic configuration of nitrogen atom and electronic configuration of oxygen atom. So if you are not sure about the electronic configuration, you just remember about the atomic number of nitrogen and oxygen. So now you calculate the total number of electron. So here you see nitrogen total number of electron is seven and oxygen total number of electron is eight. So now you count the total number of electrons of NO molecule is 15. So now you see the bond order of NO is 2.5. So this is a odd number. So definitely their magnetic behavior should be paramagnetic. So now moving on, NO plus, we already calculated the total number of electrons of NO molecule is 15. So here NO plus, you just to minus one of its electron. So now it's come 14. So now we see in this diagram, 14 number of electrons. So their bond order should be 3.0. So now you see here, which is even number. So definitely their magnetic behavior should be diamagnetic. So as per our question, bond order has increased and magnetic behavior has changed. So as per our question, this seems to be a correct answer for this question. However, we should see other two options, then we finalize which is the correct option for this question. Let's move on our third option, the ionization of O2 to O2 plus. You just write it down the electronic configuration of oxygen atom. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So their atomic number is 8. So you just calculate the total number of electrons. So here you see 2 oxygen atom. So 2 into 8 equal to 16. So here you see in this diagram, 16 is here. So their bond order is 2.0. So 16 is even number. However, this is false on exception rule. So exception rule tells that if total number of electrons has 10 or 16 or 32 electrons should be paramagnetic behavior. So based on that, O2 molecule has paramagnetic behavior. So let's moving on O2 plus. So we already calculated the total number of electrons for O2, which is 16. So now minus one of its electrons since O2 plus, so its total number of electron is 15. So now you see here is 15. So their bond order is 2.5 and this is odd number. So definitely their magnetic behavior should be paramagnetic. So here you see as per our question, here bond order has increased. So here you see 2.0, here 2.5. So bond order has increased, but magnetic behavior has not changed. So based on that, this third option may not be a correct option for this question. Let's moving on our final option. So here you see the ionization process of N2 to N2 plus. First you write it down the electronic configuration. So which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. So nitrogen atomic number is seven. So now you calculate the total number of electrons, 2 into 7 equal to 14 number of electrons. So 14 is here, so their bond order is 3.0. So 14 is even number, so their magnetic behavior should be diamagnetic. So let's moving on N2 plus, we already calculated the total number of electron of N2, which is 14. Now minus one of its electron, so total number of electron is 13. So 13 is here, so their bond order is 2.5, so 13 is odd number, so their magnetic behavior should be paramagnetic. So as per our question, bond order has increased and magnetic behavior has changed. So here you see magnetic behavior has changed, but here bond order has decreased. So based on that, this is not a correct option for this question. So based on our discussion, among the four answer, the correct answer for this question is answer two. That's it for today's problem. I hope this video has helped you understand this question. If you enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. And finally, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.